Hi everybody, this is Mr. Berger. It is March 24th uh, on Tuesday and um, second week of our distance learning. Hey, so what I want to do today is a little bit different. Instead of talking about A Wrinkle in Time, I want to share another science fiction movie, uh, sorry, science fiction story, which is perhaps the most appropriate science fiction story ever written for this moment right now. It's called The Fun They Had. It's a story written by Isaac Asimov, who is one of the giants of science fiction. He wrote, um, he wrote in the 20th century, and he wrote about 100 books, many, many more short stories. He was probably the most prolific writer of the 20th century. And he wrote um, many stories, um, many ideas, which we still have to this day, um, ideas about robotics and ideas about time and about knowledge and psychology. <clears throat> Um, he also went to my high school. Um, and he wrote a short story called The Fun They Had. And this short story is takes place um, about 130 years from now. And in a short story, get this, this is crazy, okay. So kids don't go to a school. Instead of going to a school, they learn at home. And they use technology to teach them. And... Um, Right now, it's such a um, normal thing for these kids that they, um, what happens is they eventually find out that um, school was not always like this, and they start discussing, oh, what was school like? Oh my God, what was school like back then? Um, you'll notice that it's going to be a little bit different. So um, uh, when they're discussing learning, the, the, the characters are taught by robots. Um, or sort of sort of a mechanical teacher, and they're um, they're literally like writing their homework, and they're going to be sticking into the slot into the into the robot, and then the robot grades it. Um, so that's a little old fashioned. That's that's some of the old ideas of uh, that we thought of computers, where computers would be controlled by punch cards. Um, Isaac Asimov apparently um, believed that um, he he had the vision to see that maybe kids would be taught by robots or or uh, technology at some point, but he didn't really have the vision to think of a uh, um, a, a keyboard <laughs> to input uh, information. Um, so this is a short story, and I'm going to read it to you, and then afterwards I'm going to have it. Um, I want you to respond to it. Um, so here's the story now, and then um, when I'm done, um, I'll have a question for you. Okay. The Fun They Had by Isaac Asimov. <clears throat> Margie even wrote about it that night in her diary. On the page headed May 17th, 2157, she wrote, let's see here, 2157, so that's about um, 137 years uh, from now. She wrote, Today Tommy found a real book. It was a very old book. Margie's grandfather once said that when he was a boy, his grandfather told me there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. They turned the pages, which were yellow and crinkly, and it was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to, on a screen, you know. And then, when they turned back to the page before, it had the same words on it that it had had when they read it the first time. Gee, said Tommy, what a waste! When you threw at the book, you just throw it away, I guess. Our television screen must have had a million books on it, and it's good for plenty more. I wouldn't throw it away. Same with mine, said Margie. She was 11 and hadn't seen as many telebooks as Tommy had. He was 13. She said, where did you find it? In my house. She pointed without looking because he was busy reading in the attic. What's it about? School. Margie was scornful. School? What's there to write about school? I hate school. Margie always hated school, but now she hated it more than ever. The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography, and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. He was a round little man with a red face and a whole box of tools with dials and wires. He smiled at Margie and gave her an apple that took the teacher apart. Margie had hoped he wouldn't know how to put it back together again, but he knew how, all right. And after an hour or so, there it was again, large and black and ugly, with a big screen on it, which all the lessons were shown and all the answers were asked. That wasn't so bad. 
The part Margie hated most was the slot where she had to put homework and test papers. She always had to write them out in a punch code that they made her learn when she was six years old and the mechanical reader calculated the mark in no time. The inspector had smiled after he was finished and patted Margie's head. He said to her mother, It's not the little girl's fault, Miss Jones. I think the geography sector is geared a little too quick. Those things happen sometimes. I've slowed it up to an average 10-year-old level. Actually, the overall pattern of her progress is quite satisfactory. And he patted Margie's head again. Margie was disappointed. She had been hoping they would take the teacher away altogether. They had one t once taken time to teach her away for nearly a month because the history sector had blanked out completely. So she said to Tommy, Why would anybody write about school? Tommy looked at her with a very superior eyes. Because it's not our kind of school, stupid. This is the old kind of school that they had hundreds and hundreds of years ago. He added loftily, pronouncing the word carefully. Centuries ago. Margie was hurt. Well, I don't know what kind of school they had at that all that time ago. She read the book over her shoulder for a while. Then she said, Anyway, they had a teacher. Sure, they had a teacher, but it wasn't a regular teacher. It was a man. A man? How could a man be a teacher? Well, he just told the boys and girls things and gave them homework and asked them questions. A man isn't smart enough. Sure he is. My father knows as much as my teacher. He can't. A man can't know as much as a teacher. He knows almost as much, I betcha. Margie wasn't prepared to dispute that. She said, I wouldn't want a strange man in my house to teach me. <laughs> Tommy screamed with laughter. You don't know much, Margie. The teachers didn't live in the house. They had a special building and all the kids went there. And all the kids learned the same thing? Sure if they were the same age. But my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl that teaches that each kid has to be taught differently. Just the same, they didn't do it that way then. If you don't like it, you don't have to read the book. I didn't say I didn't like it, Margie said quickly. She wanted to read about those funny schools. They weren't even half finished when Margie's mother called, Margie, school! Margie looked up. Not yet, Mama. Now, said Miss Jones, and it's probably time for Tommy, too. Margie said to Tommy, Can I read the book some more with you after school? Maybe, he said nonchalantly. He walked away whistling, the dusty old book tucked beneath his arm. Margie went to the schoolroom. It was right next to her bedroom, and the mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her. It was always on at the same time, every day except Saturday and Sunday, because her mother said little girls learn better if they learned at irregular hours. The screen was lit up, and it said, Today's arithmetic le lesson is on the addition of proper fractions. Please insert yesterday's homework into the proper slot. Margie did so with a sigh. She was thinking about the old schools they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. All the kids from the whole neighborhood came, laughing and shouting in the schoolyard, sitting together in the schoolroom, going home together at the end of the day. They learned the same things so they could help one another with the homework and talked about it. And the teachers were people. The mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen. When we add the fractions one half and one quarter, Margie was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days. She was thinking about the fun they had. Okay, that's the story, and I've posted it on Google Classroom if you want to, uh, if you want to read it as well. But um, you know, it, 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 I can't think of a more appropriate story right now because you know we're we're all in our homes learning, you know, one to one with our technology. You know, in their case, it was in the story's case, it was robots. In this case, it was. Um, um, you were using our computers or our Chromebooks. Some of you are using your phones or your iPads um, or tablets. And so <clears throat> that, it, it's very appropriate. So what I want you to do, guys, is I want you to reflect on a story and ask yourself about the fun they had or the fun you're having. And I want you to read the story, go over the story again if you need to, and ask yourself, 
how is this kind of learning, and we're really doing this like science fiction type of learning, this, <laughs> this is science fiction, guys, um, for real. And ask yourself, how is this science fiction technology-oriented reading, how is this different and better or worse, um, sorry, not reading, uh, learning, how is this type of learning different or better or worse than the type of learning you do in a classroom? Please describe it. And I want you to do a comparison. So you need to be able to say, okay, so the learning we do at school is this way. It's blah, blah, blah. Okay, the learning I'm doing now is this way, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you're doing, you're comparing these two. You, you have to describe one, you have to describe the other. We've done these, we've done these comparisons before. And then after that, you have to say, okay, so I prefer blank. You have to make a choice which one you prefer. And then you're going to say, I choose this one, I prefer this one, and I prefer it because, and then you have to give your reasons. Okay, that's what I want you to do. Okay, and um, uh, so we're doing a comparative essay. So again, I'll list the directions and um, good luck everyone. And I will be posting um, some regular chat hours soon. So if you guys need to get in touch with me, um, that will be, uh, that'll be fine. And I look forward to talking with you. Bye-bye.